All right, in the meantime, uh, look at soybean prices. They're continuing to collapse. A trade war likely the reason there and the fear that it could escalate, as the Chinese indicate they're not inclined uh, to buy any U.S. soybeans. Of course, they are our largest foreign buyer for this sort of stuff, hence the big drop-off uh, to a community right now that was actively backing Donald Trump when he was running for president. There's a boomerang on him. Let's get the read from former ambassador to China, Max Baucus. Ambassador, very good to have you with us. How big is this going to Thank be for, so for soybean farmers, sir, as you know? Uh, they're feeling the pinch immediately on just the threat, and the Chinese seem to be relishing it. What do you see happening? Well, the threats are taking their toll. Um, prices are going up, say, for steel back in the 232, just because of the threat of it. Um, and also, I think the uh, same is occurring with soybeans. My bottom line is that um, there will be a lot of bluster both sides, U.S. and China. Um, but um, we cannot bully China. China cannot bully us. But we're going to have to stand up in a way that gets progress, but not in a way that bullies them with the tariffs. China thinks it can stomach these tariffs uh, more easily than can we in the United States. China's stronger now. It's bigger. Uh, Xi Jinping's more in charge. Um, it's, it's got, it, it feels it has a wind at its back. It's, um, it's a very strong country. We've got to push them. They're taking advantage of us in several ways. But we have to do it in a very solid way. And the solid way, frankly, would be with using our allies much better than we have in the past. That is a concerted effort to, to get China to back off on some of their unfair trade practices. Do you think, um, Ambassador, that a lot of those allies, still smarting from the treatment they're getting from the administration over a steel and aluminum uh, tariffs that we're considering, uh, that they're secretly rooting for us when it comes to China because they, too, have complained about China's trade policies. They, too, have, have bemoaned the fact that it rigs its currency markets, et cetera, that there might be sort of like a two-level view of this, uh, where on the surface, of course, the countries are, are angry at the United States, some of them, though, behind the scenes, hoping uh, that the United States prevails in this. Well, that's, that's right. I mean, they, uh very much hope that we do prevail. Uh, unfortunately, um, too often, um, they're free riders, our allies. They push us out front. They say, you, you U.S., you, you do the, yeah, do the right. dirty work, if Go you will. Go ahead, lead the way. Go ahead, lead the way. They follow in behind. So how did you handle <laughs> exactly. that? In, in, that in, 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 in your old duty, sir, I mean, the, the, it's always been a delicate dance. This administration's approach is anything but delicate. But the, 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 the read from the Trump White House ambassador is that, well, the delicate doesn't work with the Chinese. And the proof is in the bipartisan pudding. Republicans have tried in the past, hasn't worked. Democrats have tried in the past, hasn't worked. So if this does work, is it going to rewrite the rules on how you negotiate trade deals? Well, you're right that um, delicate uh, has not worked very well in the past. We've, that's basically because we Americans assume that other countries had, want to be fair, just like we think we're fair. Uh, China is a big exception here. China care, is much more transactional. They don't care about fairness. They just care about results. And that means that we have to stand up in a very concerted, tougher way than we have in the past, but uh, recognizing that we're not going to get everything. This is a big challenge, China. It's a huge challenge. And I, I, I think that uh, that idea of slapping tariffs is not going to work. Um, they're going to just slap their own retaliation on us. Rather, it takes a big concerted effort with the United States and other countries in a very solid, thoughtful, strategic way. And I don't see that yet. You know what's interesting, um, Ambassador, I'd like to just take a look at it from a political perspective, if you don't mind. Democrats, not monolithically, seem to support the president's tough measures to protect uh, American jobs, more so than Republicans, who are very, very concerned. And it is a little weird. Now, I'm not saying all Democrats, and I'm saying the Bernie Sanders wing and the Elizabeth Warren wing, who, who seem to support the idea that Americans are getting, you know, taken advantage of here, but not so on the Republican side. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's it's true. Um, Democrats are more in line with, with uh, Donald Trump when it comes to trade. But the real issue is, what do we do about China? That's really the question. And it's not a partisan issue at all. It's an American issue. And the answer, frankly, is to be stronger, but in a more concerted way, in a solid way, more strategic way, not this on again, off again, not this we're going to slap these tariffs, no or not, but also in a way that works with other countries. All right. Ambassador, very good seeing you again. Max Baucus, be well.